Okay, here we are. This is uh, the Green River. I think it's in Polk County. We're gonna try this out, a little exploration today. This is the delayed harvest section. Uh, kind of about midway up. Got a nice bridge down here. Kind of a big pool. Uh, got a good friend with me, Skip. He's gonna be fishing. And uh, we're gonna explore this a little bit and see how it goes. All right, so here's Step, Skip, kind of working the back end of this pool. Got a nice run here coming in. No bites yet. Have you seen any? Saw one. Saw one. They're in here. All right. And we're fishing. Uh, eight pound micro liters today. Nice drifts. All right, so Skip's all set down there. I'm gonna walk up here and try and get into these upper runs up here. But uh, I didn't rig up yet because I really hadn't fished here before. So I really just wanted to see the water, see what was going on. Uh, the water's a little bit off color because we had some pretty big thunderstorms last night. So, you know, a lot of times people rig up at the car with exactly what they think they want to try. I like to try and come down, look at the water, see what I think's going to work. Um, and, you know, I think just based upon the water color, I'm going to probably go a little bit heavier uh, uh, tippet just because I think I can get away with it. Uh, so instead of 6x, I'm going to probably go 5x and uh, rig up that way today. Hopefully lose less flies. But boy, this is gorgeous. I'm hoping that this sun comes up onto the water here soon so we can see into the water a little bit better. All right, so here we got a little, here we got a little bubble line that I'm trying to fish. So far, I haven't found anything these guys really want yet. I've got the jig streamer on and a... Ooh, that might have been a strike. All right, we gotta go with something else. GoPro, stop recording. All right, so here's our first fish at the green. Looks like he took my DH harvest fly. Pretty little rainbow. Nice. All right, there's one. Hopefully Skip's doing well down below too. All right, we're starting to figure it out a little bit here. I took off the jig streamer and put on my DH harvest fly. Let's try this again. So we're just fishing this little bubble run right in here. Ooh. There's a fish. Uh. I might have him foul hook though. I felt him bump it and then I set the hook, but I think I got him in the tail. <laughs> That's all right. That happens sometimes. See if I can get it in here without breaking off. At least we know they're in there. Whoa, he is not happy. He is not happy. Let's shorten it up a bit more. Always hard to land a, a foul hooked fish. There we go. Nice fat little rainbow though. 
All right, all right, I know that hurts, I'm sorry. I will get it out. There we go. I'm using barbless hooks, so that's always at least helpful. Mm. I'm trying to give him a little bit of action as I'm floating down, just every now and then just give it a little twitch and a drop. And sometimes that induces a strike. Right, so here's another little one. This one, I think. Did he take the DH harvest fly also? I think he did. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, he definitely did. That seems to be working there. I might have to get another one on the bottom then. Another nice little rainbow. Come on, I'll get you off. He's a wiggler. There he goes. Nice little rainbow. Good job. So, out of this little pool, got one here. Interested to see what fly he took. DH harvest. Wow. It's not taking the soft tackle. That's so interesting. So, they're looking for something a little bit smaller. This little DH Harvest fly is just really doing very well. So, I don't know what it is, but that's what seems to be working. Let's try this again in here. Ooh, maybe missed one there. Right, let it swing out. There's a fish. <sighs> oh, now he took the soft tackle. All right, so now I feel vindicated. I like having both flies working. But that's good there. All right, let's get him in. Woo! He's a little feisty one. There we go. Finally got one on the soft tackle. I was starting to worry that that was not the right choice. All right, let's go again. This is good here, man. This is good. There's one. There's one. Nice one there. Oh, yeah, I took the DH harvest fly. Sweet. Sweet. Nice fish. Come on. You hit it good.
How'd you get hooked? There he goes. All right, so that's a nice little, nice little rainbow there. Let's get him going. We'll just do the gentleman's release. All right, let's see if I can get one more out of that pool. He hit it right in the glare. I couldn't, I couldn't see the take. Ooh, I missed it. Right in that glare, I just can't. There's a fish. Oh, that's a good one there. I don't know what that is. That's a good fish there. I either got him foul hooked or it's a good fish. Or a combination of both. Nice, solid fish. So he went after that soft tackle. All right, he's gone. Wow, 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 wow. Uh-oh, tangled around my tip there a bit. And that happens with this uh, micro leader, happens more frequently than with the heavier leaders, but I swear you get more takes, so it's worth it. All right, one more time, let's go. Uh... Okay, so I switched out to the double DH harvest. This is actually the traditional one with the orange tip. And I switched sides of the river again so I could see better. And it obviously pays off. Ow, that's less than good. All right, nice little rainbow again. Worked out well. Let's go over there. There's a fish. Nice. Let's get my net here. Sweet. All right. So, so far been a pretty darn good morning. There's a fish. Nice. And took the traditional DH harvest fly. Nice, nice jumper. So far all rainbows today. A nice face. Okay. Hey. 
caught that last one just right off this foam line. Let's try it again. There's one. Oh, his all really light hit there. Again, it was right in the glare. Can hardly see it. That's a little baby, but hey, it counts. All right. Oh, I think I missed one. So I hate to go leave fish to find fish. The smarter thing to do is just stay here and change out and try some different things. But I really want to go explore this river. I hadn't fished it before and see really what it has to offer. So far I've got like, whatever, 13, 14 fish out of here. Which isn't a bad first hour. All right, so I switched places with Skip. He went up and I came back down, took his spot. He said he only caught one in here. Hard to believe, but possible. Hey, let's come up here a little bit more. Let's get a little bit more current, see if we can find these fish. They've got to be in here. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. All right. Nice. Again, took the DH harvest. Wrecked them. <laughs> Great. All right, so here is the first one, I think, on the pegged egg. So a little bead egg. Very nice. <laughs> Sweet. Nice little rainbow. So a little pegged egg action. Worked pretty nicely. So I got kind of like a heavy caddis thing on top and then switched to the pegged egg on the bottom, yellow. Had a few strikes and I had to, and I missed, and so I shortened it up. And that one I got, obviously, which is good to know. So they seem to like this. So we'll see if we can attract any others. There he is. Oh, one of the problems with the pegged egg is that unless you got a good hook, and I might need to change this out because this isn't a really an egg hook. This is just a, a regular hook. But if this is working, I'm going to change out this hook to a good hook. I was just trying it out to see if they would even take it. I'm going to put an egg hook on. All right, so I switched back out to a a real egg hook instead of just, I had a little number eight nymph hook on. And I missed two fish because of it. Oh, don't do that. So when you do this, you wanna make sure that your egg, your pegged egg is on the bottom fly on the bottom rig, if you try and put it on top, it invariably tangles. Ooh, that might've been a fish. Missed it. 
you will miss a lot of strikes just because with the peg egg, you really are gonna, oop, that was a fish. You're gonna have lots of hits and, and stuff, but you may not get that hook to set. So strike on any little dink. There we go, all right. On the board, finally. Another peg egg finally pays off. Whew. Nice. Definitely like that, though. All right, so, got another one here. Again on the pegged egg. Definitely working. Whoa, feisty little guy. Very nice. Another nice little rainbow. Sweet. So I had worked this pretty hard this morning with a couple different flies and now going back with the pegged egg, picking up several more. There's a fish. <clears throat> Take him down here. He's a good fish. Oh, he's got it underneath that ledge there. So I was hoping he wouldn't do. Nice. So switching out to the real hook that's really made for this makes a difference. Instead of just using a generic nymph hook. You get more hookups for sure. Nice. There we go. Nice little rainbow there. Wow. So that's about 20, 25 fish out of this one little section right here today. Hopefully a few more to come. There's a fish. <sighs> nice. <sighs> wow. Just goes to show you, you don't want to leave fish to go find fish. Just change your tactics. Change your tactics. Do something different. If you know there's fish there and what you're doing isn't working, don't keep doing the same thing. Do something different. You know, maybe it worked for a while and then it stopped working. You know, what I was doing before was working and then it stopped. You got to do something different. I picked up probably five or six more fish just by changing out to the to the pegged egg. Oh, that was a terrible cast. All right, so here's one. Actually, I think he took the caddis. Uh, Caddis Emerger kind of pattern. Nice little rainbow. Sweet. Didn't take the egg. I thought everything would take the egg, but he hit that Emerger. 
Look at that. Silly. A lot of fun, guys. A lot of fun. So this is the, I guess it's called Fish Top Access Area. This is the upper parking lot. So just to kind of give you an idea where we are. So this is where we are right now. And this is the section of river that's delayed harvest. And it's probably, I don't know, good too two miles long, maybe a smidge more. Um, we fished this morning down here by this bridge. Uh, we are gonna fish up here just a little bit and then most likely this afternoon we'll try this section down here just to kind of explore it a little bit. But so far, been impressed. Very nice, great water, clean. Been a beautiful day, caught a bunch of fish. Can't ask for too much more than that. Even Skip has caught some fish. <laughs> yeah. I was just looking to see if I have any um, pegs for my head. <laughs> <laughs> Try the pegs, baby. Yeah. Well, what you're doing is working, so why switch? Yeah, just in case. <laughs> I may have to steal a peg from you. I might have one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's head out. Let's do it. The afternoon session is in session. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>